For the fourth time in the last 10 years, a grand jury report is calling for significant health and safety improvements here at the Santa Barbara County Coroner's Office. I'm Juliette Lamar, and as your community reporter, I investigated, taking you inside the coroner's office and sitting down with a member of the jury. All right, so this is the, the entry. This is where most people come in. For six years, Lieutenant Jarrett Morris has worked in the Santa Barbara County Sheriff Coroner's office. We often call ourselves the last responders instead of first responders, and we're here to help provide closure. After a grand jury report raised several health and safety concerns, I wanted to talk to him and tour the building for myself. Yeah, so this was the light. They still got to finish it, but this is where the hole was. And mold. Really, We don't know yet if that actually was black mold. Another issue is space. This cold storage unit is designed to hold up to 18 bodies. This is actually very empty compared to what it, what it normally is. Due to an overall lack of space, evidence from criminal cases is stored here too, leaving room for just 12 bodies. There are times where this fills up and we're running out of space to put decedents. When that happens, they turn to mortuaries and funeral homes for help. The grand jury report also claims the 50-year-old building is unsafe and in critical need of repair, which Morris understands but denies any danger. Do you think the grand jury was fair? Could this building be better? Yes. Is it dangerous for them to work here? No. Nothing stopped us from doing our job. We haven't had any, any of our personnel that have gotten injured or sick. Would they like stuff not to break all the time? Yeah, probably, but, but they're doing a great job and, and we're getting the job done for the community. This is the fourth time in 10 years a different grand jury has found problems with the coroner's office. So to get insight, I sat down with this year's grand jury foreperson, Eva Marcias. We're the eyes over the government, over the county government. We can do cities, we can do the whole county, we can investigate anybody except the court. Among the dozen recommendations and findings in the report, one of the most disturbing allegations is that autopsies were done outside. Morris says that's only the case in mass casualty events, like the 2019 Conception boat fire that killed 34 people, or in the rare case a body is severely decomposed. However, Marcias stands behind the report. When they come back with their findings, how do you decide what to include? There's a format, and it's got to be facts. How do you fact check? There has to be at least two sources that, that verify what's going on or what was said. I looked through the past grand jury reports from 2013, 2015, and 2020. While most findings were different, the big carryover was concern about the aging building. Each of these reports takes around five months and is independent of previous ones. Because again, we go in with a fresh slate. The history, the um, notes, who they talked to, who was involved, everything's deleted. Sheriff Bill Brown responded to the report about a week ago stating the office has made significant repairs to the roof, mold abatement, and is implementing a plan to replace the building by 2039. I asked Marcias what she thought. I think by law he's supposed to respond to you. Yes, so I have not seen you this. You haven't seen this? No, because I'm oh, not, I'm well, not on the take, jury anymore. You want to take a look sure. and tell me what your response is? Okay. Disagree. <laughs> and yeah, they just keep putting Band-Aids on stuff. How do you feel reading this? Do you think that the grand jury is going to come back and have to do another report? I would be surprised if they did not. So that's a yes. It's important to point out the sheriff's office and the board of supervisors are not required to make any changes based on the report. Although the sheriff and the grand jury do not agree on a number of issues, they're together on one. More space is desperately needed. I reached out to Sheriff Brown five times for an interview, along with the Board of Supervisors. Both declined. In Santa Barbara, Juliette Lamar, KSBY News.